abandoned cart emails tips to bring customers back now it's no surprise that if somebody comes to your site and you retarget ads towards them that you can get a lot of them back and usually about 25 percent but that's not what this video is about this video is about abandoned carts and by the end of this video you're going to know how to send out emails to people who left and didn't buy and you're going to make more money so watch to the very end thanks so much for watching this video do me a favor subscribe right below if you would don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or I upload a video now abandoned carts let's think about this first somebody came to your site and they left the cart and they didn't buy now when people come to your site and they don't buy um, that shouldn't be unusual here's why it shouldn't be unusual only four percent of the people that come to your website are really ready to buy um, that's why it's so important to do these abandonment cart emails so that you can recuperate all of those particular customers and bring in sales and you will let's take a look at some of the research i want to put it up on the screen here real quick let's look at the reasons why they actually leave and don't buy the first reason the number one reason actually extra cost uh, shipping taxes fees they were just too expensive that, that's 50 percent of the time why they abandon their cart the site wanted them to create an account 28% of the time. I know this has happened to me where I was like, I don't, I don't want to put in all my information. I just want to buy something. So if they made them, and that's something you can fix on your site too, they can check out as a guest or they can create an account. Next thing on here is the checkout process was too complex. How difficult is it for people to check out? That's 21%. Um, they couldn't calculate the total order cost easily. That's 18%. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to, but uh, some of them feel that way. They didn't offer the optimal shipping options. That's 18%. So you want to find out why your customers abandon their cart on exit intent survey. However, uh, a lot of people can just leave their cart because they got interrupted. You know, somebody came in their office to talk to them. They got a phone call. They got an email. Uh, they had to get up it was time to leave you know the kids fell down whatever it is there's a lot of reasons so if we don't go back to those people and try to capture that sale later on we're leaving money on the table now I will tell you to make this abandonment cart thing work uh, I would use Kartra I think Kartra is really really good for this uh, I'm gonna put a link below for Kartra um, and it's a free link you can go to it you don't need a credit card you don't need an email you can watch a video on all the things Kartra does it's an all-in-one e-commerce uh, digital commerce digital marketing solution that you just got to have um, you watch the video and if you like what you see with my link you can get a one dollar trial and check it out so I highly recommend you doing that but let's also look at now how these abandonment cart softwares work because that's what Kartra is it's one of those uh, along with a whole bunch of other things well let's look at how it works the merchant sets up an automation inside their e-commerce platform that's the first step number two somebody who has already given their email address logs into the site and starts browsing um, they add items to their online shopping cart but exit the page without buying an automated email is sent once their session ends reminding the customer which items they were interested in and encourages them to check out the customer clicks the link inside the cart recovery email and completes the purchase what could be easier than that you're just reminding them okay little Billy fell down he scraped his knee let's get back to that cart now let's go ahead and check out okay you got interrupted for lunch you're back from lunch now let's get back to that cart now let's go ahead and check out now let's check out some of these statistics for these cart recoveries open rate 41.18 percent click rate nine and a half percent revenue per recipient five dollars and 81 cents don't you want to do this automated you can automate it all through cart for that software i told you about below now i'd like to give you some benchmarks for this first off send your email at the right time what's the right time well within one hour uh, if you send an email within one hour it's been shown that 16% of the people will go ahead and buy 16%. That's pretty high. If you send it a day later, that drops down to 11%. That's pretty low. So you want to send it within one hour of them abandoning that cart. That's number one. Number two, write a good subject line. You know, when your email goes out to these people, it could be competing with hundreds of other emails. If you don't have a good subject line that captures their attention, eh, you may not do so well. A good subject line may be something like, you left something in your cart or something was left out or did you mean to do this or this is incomplete any of those things kind of grabs their attention and will get them to open your email that was number two now let's move on to number three number three is give an incentive 
why would you have them come back to that cart now uh, I would say your initial email you don't maybe want to give them an incentive but the email after that if you don't do it on the next email you better offer them an incentive uh, it could be a discount it could be free shipping it could be you know some special gift you're going to give along with it i like to give digital products with it so you know if they're thinking about buying survival k food and they go back and buy it they're going to get my free report on how to protect your home and family a regularly 97 dollars report they can have it absolutely free um, digital products like that you can have written for you you can write them yourself they don't have to be long uh, but it's that one extra little incentive to push them over the edge number four is create a sense of urgency or scarcity so whatever product they were looking at if it was on sale let them know you know this this is going to go off sale in 24 hours or we're down to our last you know 45 of these we've already sold 5,000 of them so you want to have something in there that's going to give them some sense of urgency it could be time it could also be your inventory it could be any number of things maybe they're going to miss out on a freebie you were giving maybe they're going to miss out on free shipping if they don't order within the next 24 hours so whatever it is make sure you're giving them something extra number five focus on a single product uh, it's it's really tempting when somebody leaves a cart for you to showcase all your other products and all the things you've got uh, but I tell you when you offer them a whole lot of things it, it creates this thing called paradox of choice and paradox of choice says I've got too many decisions to make here I think I'll make none so essentially when you're offering them all these other products you're gonna end up with them buying nothing so it's super important that you focus laser focus on that one singular product number six direct them back to their own personalized cart uh, I like to say things like I know you probably got busy I saved all your information click here to go back to your cart and that way they don't have to go back to your web page they don't have to fill everything out cart can handle all this for you it's the software I told you about down in the description you want to check it out number seven leverage social proof uh, you may say in one of your emails hey uh, I know you were looking at this product you may be unsure look at what our other customers have said about it maybe you want to include some testimonials or some videos or something like that you know we sell survival food so maybe we want to direct that to people who have actually bought that product tasted it liked it maybe we we'll want to have that video for them to see on a particular page where they can go back and click and then once they watch that video they can click and go back and purchase that product so that's another idea that you can use number eight optimize for mobile this is singularly one of the biggest problems in selling online right now people don't have their sites optimized for mobile if it's difficult for somebody to order on their mobile phone keep this in mind 85 percent of the people now are ordering on their mobile phone so if you have a site that's difficult to order on your mobile phone guess what you've done you've lost business make sure it is mobile friendly now what I'd like to do is show you on the screen a few abandoned cart emails that I came across that look pretty good so let's run over to my screen here and we'll check it out first um, this first one here is Island Port Press uh, Island Port Press's abandoned cart emails look beautiful and nearly match the business's overall brand uh, their logo is front and center you can see it right there and the entire email has branded fonts and colors it's a simple way to enforce brand consistency and recognition here's another one right here this is called house of sunny uh, you can see it right here and what it looks like and on this particular one house of sunny uses scarcity to explain that the product won't be around forever since they only make a sustainable run they also use an incentive to increase the purchase rate of their abandoned cart uh, emails this special promotion is only available to shoppers who spend over a certain amount which could increase their average overall order let's check out this one here this is stash house miami uh i like this one here hey babe you left some items in your cart <laughs> okay so right here this one here this abandoned uh cart email sample from stash house miami contains a big prominent photo to remind the shoppers of the item they left it also includes a discount code to redeem on their purchase what stands out about this email is the playful wording it speaks directly to the target audience with informal language like babe and check me out this helps build a relationship with your potential customers and makes your email grab the reader's attention uh, let's just look at one more here a mica skincare you can see that right here uh, we noticed you left something in your cart and you can resume your order right here we've touched on the fact that the cart recovery emails need to be optimized for all devices including mobile this example from mica skincare demonstrates how to do that they have a bold headline short subtitle big product photo and obvious call to action that look great on desktop as well as mobile uh, the prominent cta gives a shopper one thing to do re resume their order and it's large enough and easy to click okay so i hope if nothing else i've impressed upon you there's more money out there for you 
there's more money for you uh, and the money is in all those abandoned carts and keep in mind guys um, they say that up to 69% of the carts get abandoned 69% um, if that's the case then how much money are you leaving out there uh, and and they show that the purchase rate is extremely high when you use these email recovery campaigns how much money are you leaving out there you've got to set this up and the best way to do this is in Kartra uh, look down below in the description like I said you'll find a link for Kartra it doesn't cost you anything you watch a free video the video will explain all the things that Kartra does one of the things it does among the billions it does I don't know billions that's probably a bit much it does a lot of things um, but one of the things it does is abandon cart recovery uh, emails that you can send out to people so check that out it's a video you watch it if you like it get a trial for one dollar uh, I hope you enjoy this I hope you realize how important this is to do these cart recovery emails uh, if you're doing these on a regular basis you're gonna make more money just really important that you realize that so thanks for watching this video I hope you appreciate it I hope you got something out of it if so give me a thumbs up if you don't mind don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or I upload a video either one of those would work right but when I go live you could actually talk to me so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.